Thank you for joining us this morning. We're going to put you through a fantastic body weight exercise uh, for this morning. We have a load of different things we're going to do. I'm Mike Barbado. This is Cheryl. This is Kim. They're going to be helping me this morning. If you need modifications, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do, but follow one of their leads to take it to your skill level. All right, we'll have regular normal movements and then we'll have increased versions as well. Um, if you're a more advanced person, just take the higher um, end things, okay? We're gonna get the show started. Make sure you have a water bottle, a sweat towel. If you have, have a mat nearby, we're gonna get the show on the road. We have 20 seconds of four movements. We'll repeat every 20 seconds for three rounds. Just follow my lead. We'll start with jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. This is your built-in warm-up, okay? So get your body nice and toasty. We're gonna have some fun. Should be about 30, 35 minutes or so. Don't forget, hold on. All right, what I want you to do, touch your toes, walk yourself out to a nice tall plank position, add yourself one push-up, and walk yourself back. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can on each round. Add one push-up and then come back. We got time for one more. Push-up, come back. Fantastic, we're gonna go into squats and squat down. As I was saying, this is your workout. At the end of the day, if you need to stop, just stop, okay? I'm going to go to lateral lunge. Bring your feet close together, step out to the side, put your butt back and down, and then switch sides. We'll be seeing these movements again throughout the workout, so that's why we're kind of warming up with them. All right, let's get back to jacks from here. How's everyone feeling this morning? Give me a thumbs up. Fantastic. <laughs> Five seconds. Here we go. Back to that walk out with push up. We're down. Reach for your toes. Walk yourself out. Nice tall foot plank. And that push up. If you need to drop to your knees, please do so. Reach down. Walk out. Drop to your knees. Push up. Come back. One more. All right, let's get those squats in. So squat down, stand up. If you want to fire up your warm-up, get a little hot. Just get off the ground. Ten more seconds. Fantastic. Let's go back to that lateral lunge. Ten more seconds here. Go back to the top. Beautiful. Back to the jumping jacks. Let's go. Back to that. Walk out with the push up. Reach for those toes, walk yourself out, add that push up. If the push up alone is too difficult, just walk yourself out to a nice little flying position and walk yourself back. Let's go back to those squats. Oh, we're almost finished. And lateral lunge now. Ten more seconds. Yes. 
fantastic. All right, my friends. We get ready to go into the first block. It's going to be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Same movements as the warm up, but we're going to land it up a little bit in more advanced moves. Again, if you need to rest at any time, feel free. So we're going to start with a squat, just like we did warm it up. Squat down for 45 seconds. You can always jump to turn up your workout. I'll go over all the other movements in your 15 seconds of rest. We're going to start 10. Ready? Set. Squat. Again, you can always jump if you want. When you're squatting, think about pulling your hips below parallel, pry your knees apart. Make sure your chest is tall and proud. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out to the top. I personally like to have my arms out to counterbalance my weight. Knees track the toes, wherever your toes are pointing, that's where you need to be. 15 more seconds here. Again, you can turn it up. There's jump squats, even if you did one squat or one jump. Beautiful. Shake those legs out. We're going to that walk out with the toe with the push-up. Reach down, walk out, add that one push-up, walk back. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. We're here for 45 seconds. Ready? Set. Go. Walk out. Nice tall plank position. Add that push-up. Make sure your glutes are squeezed tight. Actively pull your hips out when you push. It'll help you. Again, drop down to your knees if necessary. Drop down, push up. Come back. Stick it with it with 20 seconds left. Push. Come back. Up. Push. Come back. Come on. Five seconds. One more. Perfect. Next up, we're going to do a shuffle lateral lunge. So the warm up was here. This time, we're going to do a little jump side to side. You can touch the floor if you like. But if you have the space, we're going to shuffle side to side quickly. Here we go. If you don't have the space to jump, let's go side to side. Here. Okay? That's all you need to do. Here for 30 more seconds. Come on. Stick with it. I know it burns. 15 seconds. Come on, we gotta earn that weekend. Five seconds. Perfect. Woo! Woo. All right, we're gonna push up with a toe touch. Push up position, drop down, then you're gonna bring your hips up and touch your opposite toe. Come back, push up, touch your opposite toe. Go ahead. Again, you can drop to your knees, come up to your toes, touch that foot with your opposite hand. Try to keep your legs straight. Use this as a nice stretch. Oh, it's getting spicy. 20 more seconds here. Push, touch, push, touch. Come on. 10 seconds. Almost there. Rest. All right. Round one is complete. One more round here. We go back to those squats. From here, if you want, jump. If you want to do one and one, perfect. Come on, let's go. All those legs are being torched. 
Those of you at home, who likes fried peaches? Twenty seconds to go. Ten seconds. Stick with it. Come on, baby. Woo! Guys, all right? Yeah, yeah. Back in the walkout with a push up. You really want to light this up? Walk yourself out. Give yourself a push up. Do a plyo push up. And then come back. You want to light it up? Plyo push up. Then come back. Where are my advanced people at? Show me. I'll try it. Ready, Kim? Yeah. Uh, walk back. There you go. Come on. Third one. And the other, the other end, just drop down to those knees. Push up, then come back. We're almost there. 15 seconds to go. Keep moving. I'm watching you. Rest. Now back to that lateral shuffle on one side. Touch. Touch, touch, stay moving, stay low. We're not shuffling, just go side to side. Come on, let's do it. Work those legs. Come on. You got it. Let's go. 20 seconds. Uh, 15 here. Keep moving. Stay focused. Last five. Yes. Back to that push up with the toe touch. Get those hips nice and high. Keep your legs straight. That's that opposite toe. We're here. Drop down. Hips up. Touch. Come back. Drop down. Hips up. Touch. It's okay if we're heavy. Remember, no shame. You're in the comfort of your own home. You got nothing to worry about. Just push, push hard, do your best. You can only get better. Can't get worse. 20 seconds. Hips up. Nice stretch in that handy. Last 10. Come on, big rest is coming. It's almost here. Uh, rest. Woo wee! Grab some water. Wipe off your face. We're going to kick off in 60 seconds or so. How are you guys doing? Good? Uh, we're going to change the interval for next round. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're going to start with a lunge. Now, depending on your space, you can go forward lunge, all on one leg, or you can go reverse lunge, all on one leg. That's where we're starting. Specifically, left side first. To so move that left leg, whether it's forward or backwards, whatever your space allows for. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. I'm going to do it. I'm going to move backwards. Knee. My left leg's going back. Step back, come forward. If you want to light this up, just jump at the top. You want to light it up, just jump at the top. We call that a sprinter lunge. Halfway through, let that side burn. Ten 
seconds. That's it, good work. Next up, we have a reset push-up or a hands release push-up. Looks like this, ball plank position, drop all the way down, bring your hands forward, slide them back in line with the chest, and push. Everything all comes off the floor at once. All the way down, forward, back, push. Come on, let's go. Everybody should be on your toes for this. Why? Because this is the only way You'll get a good full range of motion in that push-up. The only way you'll get stronger, pushing up from the bottom. Squeeze the glutes, keep your feet dug into the floor. Think about pulling your hips up with you. Woo! You need to pick up the pace, go ahead and do so. One more. Perfect. That's it. We're going to that right side lunge. So just move that up opposite leg than you did before. How you guys feeling? Good? Fantastic. Got three seconds here. I'm going backwards. Good. And you can jump. If you want it. I will light you up. I promise. When you lunge, think about bringing that back leg 90 degrees so when you get to the bottom, everything's on top. All right? You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. This is 90 degrees. Get stable. And then starting from the bottom, whoops, start from the bottom. Situate your feet. And extend up. Uh, more on this side. Press. Ooh. Ooh. Single leg hollow hold. Check this out. In the hollow hold position here, but this time, bring one foot or one ankle on top of that knee. So hold here, get your shoulders off the ground, look down at your toe. Come on, let's do it. We're all here. Put one ankle on top of the knee. Just hold it. Just hold it. Push that belly button down to the spine. Where'd everybody go? I'm only kidding. You're all on the floor. Come on, let it burn. Pull the belly button in. Suck your stomach in as much as possible. Send those arms, get your shoulders off the ground. Look down to your foot. 10 more seconds here. It's supposed to burn. Three, two, uh, Good work, stand up. Back to that lunge. This time, my left leg's moving forward. It's ready, set, here we go. Come on, let's move. I'm moving forward with my left leg. If for some reason you're not lunging, sorry I didn't bring this up earlier. Just do some body weight squats. Do those lateral lunges we love too. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Ten more seconds. Stick with it. Good work. Back on the floor, we have those reset push-ups. Remember, release those arms, reach up high, come back down, and push. Take those toes into the floor. Squeeze those glutes. Ready, set, push, down, arms up, come back. Push, down, arms out, come back. Stay tight. Don't want to be a white noodle. Come on. Stiff as a board, stay tight. Squeeze those glutes. Get everything to come up at once. Push. 
Come on, you got this. Seven more seconds. One more. That's it. My right leg is moving forward on this lunge. How you guys feel? Good? Give me a thumbs up. Ready? Set. Go. You guys, you can always play this back. You can always add weight to it. All right? Add weight if you need to. Later on. Keep going. Keep going. Ten more seconds. Five more. Press. Back that floor, hollow hole position with the opposite leg. So again, start here. You want to do that lumbar spine flat to the floor. Extend that opposite arm to that angle on top of the knee. And we're going to be here. Send those arms up high. Do one. Make snow angels. It's always fun, right? Gives you something to do while you're here. Spin those arms side to side. We didn't get any snow this year. At least we could pretend. It's burning. 20 seconds to go. Stick with it. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up. 10 more seconds. Who's making snow angels? Let me see those arms move. That's it. Almost there. Fan flipping tastic. My friends, take a short break. Come back, we have a fantastic ham round. As many rounds as possible. Five minutes. Drink some water, wipe off your face. The next five minutes, you're going to be disgusting in a good way. Three movements. This is what it looks like. We're going for a jump plunge. You're going to switch your leg and you jump the switch. Looks like this. We're going to do 12 total. Okay? You're not jumping for any reason. What I want you to do is to be an alternating lunge, either forward or backwards, whatever your space allows for. Okay? You're going to alternate legs. 12 total. From there, we have six plank shoulder taps. It's a double tap, though. We're right here. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. From there, we have everybody's favorite burpees with three reps. Down, back, add that push up, add that jump at the top. If for some reason, any modification is not a problem, do a squat for us. Hands come down, jump back to a tall plank, jump in, stand up. You can even step it. Hands down, step back, step in. Stand up, okay? Five minutes, as many rounds as possible. Who's getting seven rounds? That's what I want to know. Who's getting seven? We're getting seven. Getting seven? <laughs> All right. Five seconds. Start with 12 jumping lunges. Ready? Let's go. 12 reps here. Total. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, well, come to the floor. We're here. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, 
Whoops, six, six. Three burpees. Come on. One, two, three. Come on, stick with me. 12 jump lunges. Six plank shoulder taps, double tap. Three burpees, you can do it right from the floor. Two. Woo! Three. I'm two down. Where are you guys at? Come on. Keep it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, my legs. In that plank position, pull your belly button in. Try not to shift too much to the sides. If you need, bring your feet out wide. Give you more stable base. If you want to challenge it, Bring your feet out super close. Try not to shake. Come on. Those burpees. Oh, bring your eyes. Woo! You gotta have fun with it, right? If you're not jumping, just step back or step forward with those lunges. Whatever works best for you, all right? Uh, come on, we're halfway through. What number are you? Uh, 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 yeah. uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, uh. You want to turn off your burpee? Give yourself a little tuck jump. <laughs> you gotta have fun with it. <sighs> keep it up, keep moving. Up, stand up. That's it. Round number seven. Think about it that way. Here we go. 50 seconds to go. These ladies are on third seven. Where are you guys at? Come on. Stick with it. Oh, 30 seconds to go. Oh my goodness. Listen to me. There's 15 seconds to go. Let's do those burpees all together. Come on. Come on. Let's keep going. Two. Three. Come on. Five more seconds. Let's keep going. Next one. Come on. One more. Fantastic. <laughs> so, drink some water. Wipe off your face. We're not done. You may have thought we were. We're not. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're gonna need a mat. 
If you have your mat, grab it. Drink some water. Yeah. All right, let's destroy the core. We're working for 30 seconds. We're going to rest and transition in 10 seconds. All right, I'm going to have my piece of paper next to me. It's a whole long list. Don't you worry. All right. You guys ready to go? We're going to start on our backs. That hollow hold, that single leg hollow hold position. So we're going to be here. Again, starting that little balled up position, lumbar spine is flat on the floor. Extend one leg, put your ankle on top. And we're going to hold here. If you want to make snow angels? Feel free. Just follow my lead. You only have 10 seconds to transition, so it's going to be fast. Three. Two, one, let's go. Just hold. Just hold. It's like the weight of your foot so much harder. Right? Yeah. Who knew your foot was going to weigh so much? Ten seconds here. Five seconds. Cool, come out of that. Next up, we're just gonna do a side plank on your elbows, okay? We you extend your head, legs and drop here. You can make sure the hip, everything's in line with each other. Don't side your hip. Get your hip up nice and high. Come on, let's hold it. We're holding. If you wanna make this more uh, challenging, just lift that leg. Go ahead, hold that leg up. Hold that leg up. If you need a modification, just drop down to the knee. Okay? Drop down to that bottom knee. Five seconds here. Perfect. All right, we're going to switch sides. So come on to the opposite side of that side plank. Now, the bad news is if you did the advanced version last time, you got to do this time too. So we're here. If you lifted that leg last time, you got to lift it again. Half way through. Come on, five more seconds. Stick with me. Do not drop. Do not drop. Do not drop. All right, you're done. Come to our backs. Look at that opposite leg. Hollow hold crunch or hollow hold single leg. Bring your opposite leg on top. We're going to hold. We're going now. We're going now. Okay, you make those snow angels. It's always fun. Whatever it takes to make you smile when you're in pain, in good pain, right? <laughs> Almost there. Oh, rest. All right, we're gonna come back to that side plank. Okay, whatever side you want to start on, stack those feet, hips up, or drop the hip. So we're going to dip and then come back up. Dip and come back up. Really nice contraction on the obliques here, the side of the abs. You see that shoulder directly under, or elbows directly underneath the shoulder. Come on, stick with me. Ten more seconds. Five seconds. Burn! All right. Go to the other side. Just swivel around. Ready, set, go. Hips are up. Drop it down. Pick it back up. Come on.
may not be able to get alcohol, but you can sure get a six pack here. Five seconds. Perfect. All right, we're gonna be on our backs, we'll do a bicycle crunch. Now when it comes to crunches, a lot of people wanna go super fast. It's not about how fast you go, it's about how you contract and then breathe. Come on, let's go. Bring your opposite knee to elbow. Cross, exhale, breathe in on the way back, exhale on the crunch. It's not how fast you can go, it's about how you contract. Breathe out when your elbow touches your knee. If you need to modify this, feet flat. Bring your elbow to the knee, come back to the floor. Elbow to the knee, back to the floor. Five more seconds. Yes. All right, one of my favorites. We're in a bear plank. So get your hands underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Tuck those toes. From here, we're just gonna hold. So get your knees off the ground and just hold. Pull your belly button to the spine. Keep your knees hovering to the floor. One more second. Squeeze. All right, on our backs. Bicycle crunch once again. Ready, set, go. Don't worry about speed. Slow down, contract. Ten more seconds. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to go back to that um, bear plank. But this time, we're going to tap our shoulders, OK? We're going to be here. We're going to tap, just like the plank tap earlier. But we're now in a bear plank position. Knees should be directly under the hips, OK? One straight line. Hands directly underneath the shoulders. If you need help, pry your knees apart, not your feet apart. Gives you more stable, more stability in the core. Ten more seconds to go. Come on. Almost there. Good. Perhaps you have the last one here. We're gonna do plank ups. We're gonna do a nice little plank position. Drop down to those elbows. Come back up. Refrain from rocking too much. Come on, let's go. Down. Up. Keep those shoulders, those hips. As square as possible, don't rock like this. Please don't, try not to. This is the last 15 seconds. Come on, we're gonna be finished. Ah, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, just stay here, just stay here. We're getting that nice little cool down stretch. All right? Nice cool down stretch. Land your bellies. Ah. What I want you to do, bring one arm out to the side, in line with your shoulder, get the other hand and put it underneath your shoulder in line with your chest, and from there you're going to push away. I'm going to switch sides, push away. Good work this morning, my friends. Fantastic job. Way to take control of your surroundings. All right, bring our hands underneath our chest. Push up into a cobra. For anybody who's a yogi on here, I'm not a yogi. This is just the terms I know, okay? No judgment. From here, you're going to tuck your toes. Bring your hips up, bring a downward dog. Again, no judge. Cut out those legs. Stretch out those hammies, calves, glutes. Try to make sure your back is flat and your arms are straight. Pedal it up. From 
from here, I want you to drop your knees, bring your hands out in front, come into child's pose. So pull your hips back, and drag your hands across the floor, put your head in between your arms, just relax. All right, come back to center. Go tall kneeling, and bring one foot forward, all right? And you're gonna sink into your hips here. So you don't wanna lean back. You do wanna stay vertical, but sink into that front leg. If you need to bring that front leg out more, go ahead and do so. A couple of things you can do to modify or make this a little bit more difficult. Tuck your toe in the back, okay? You spike your back toe, and then squeeze your glute. And you'll feel a lot more opening up that hip flexor, that quad, Sink it as much as you can, but don't arch back. Don't lean back. All right, let's switch sides. Come back to kneeling. Switch those legs. Remember, you bring that foot out more than 90 degrees. Sink it until it's squeeze that glute. All right, from here, let's stand up. One of my favorite moves, let's go ceiling, shoulders, knees, and toes. Keep those legs as straight as you can on every rep, ceiling, shoulders, knees, toes. Let's go two more times. And one more. All right, if you need something, someone, pull that back foot, go lean up against something. Squeeze that quad, so it's completely different when you actually squeeze this thigh muscle. You know, huge stretch in that hip flexor. All those lunges we did today, goodness. All right, let's switch to the other side. All right, my friends, that is all I have for you this morning. I want to thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed. Have a super awesome weekend. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Kim, for my volunteers. Or should I say victims? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to send you guys the PDF of this workout and also the live playback.